something like this should never happen. And um, they're right, love conquers all. It does, and I think the more people that we can draw here just shows that. Yeah. Jeff Swicord, VOA News, Orlando, Florida. Well, come in and see a, a pal known by his stage name, Ochiami Kwame. He's a Ghanaian music artist. In 2009, he founded the Ochiami Kwame Foundation to raise public awareness on hepatitis B and to provide screening, prevention, and education to mitigate the disease in Ghana. Now, the foundation has initiated and sponsored the construction of a hepatitis B treatment facility in the Tamale region of Ghana. To tell us more about his foundation and music, I'm joined in studio by Chiami Kwame. Welcome to our program. Thank you. Now, first, uh, you have more titles than just being a you know, hip-hop artist. Tell us a little more. You kind of got some other titles given to you. Okay, yeah, so <clears throat> I'm the um, AU ambassador for Ghana, I'm the AU champion for Ghana. I'm also a UNICEF um, father, super father um, ambassador, and I am the rap doctor, yeah. and then I am... And you have the key to and, the city. And I have the key to the city of Cincinnati. Cincinnati in yes. the United States. Now, yes. all this mostly because of your activism to fight hepatitis B. Yes. How did you get into it? Okay, so in 2009, I went to the hospital to check um, my health status because I was falling sick in and out. And then I realized that the hepatitis, um, I did several types of um, tests. But the hepatitis test was expensive, was $40. So I went to the doctor and I said, Kwame, this test is too expensive. So if we form an NGO, we could give the test for free. You know? And then I also saw that um, one out of every six Ghanaians is exposed to the virus, which means the prevalence rate is 15%. So we're looking at people who would never hear of the disease or, you know, because in Ghana, the, most of the funds that go into health in, in the area of malaria, tuberculosis, HIV, and AIDS. You know, so uh, not hepatitis. No, no, no hepatitis. You know, so uh, most of the NGOs were interested in hepatitis. So we decided to start to give free education uh, to everybody. And every year we do 1,000 people. So for the past like, eight years, we've done 8,000 people. We started with uh, education, and then we started giving free screening. And then we saw that the 85 percent of the people who test negative go back into the risk zone. So we decided to vaccinate everybody who will be tested negative. So, and then we added the vaccination. And now we are moving into the area of buying medication for poor women who are hepatitis positive because they take this uh, medication that is so expensive, like $200. So wow. every year we try to buy it to as, give it to as many people as okay. possible. Now you've done a nice uh, piece of music not long ago yeah. in collaboration with your kids who I think <clears throat> do a better job than yourself. Everybody's saying it. <laughs> <laughs> we want to just uh, you know, watch this video a little bit and then All you right. tell me a, a little bit about why you decided to do it that way. Okay. Let's watch this. It's called Sousing. Sousing. Eh? Sousing. Sousing. They say sauce is the new swear. We sousing. Yeah. We sousing. Yeah. We sousing. Yeah. We sousing. Na 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 na. Yeah, 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 yeah. Global, we rep for Ghana. We don't slow, we just go. Na, 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 na. Yeah, 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 yeah. Global, we rep for Ghana. We don't slow, we just go. My daddy's the rap, 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 Now, first, this is fabulous. We have just a few seconds, but your daughter and son. Yes. Why did you decide to involve them? Just very quickly. You know, um, they, uh, my, my wife is a working woman. So usually when she's gone to work, I'm stuck home with the kids because I have a more <laughs> flexible you know, schedule. So yeah. um, one, one, sometimes I take them to the studio. I realize that they had a music talent as well. So one fine Sunday, I took them to my home studio and said, let's do music. So we actually started it off as something that we're doing for fun. And then we realized that the whole world is catching on to it. So we did a video and put it out there. I think you've been a good father. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's really good that uh, you're involved in this campaign. Thank you. Well. 
Thank you. Thanks for sharing it with us also your music. All right. Okay, that's uh, uh, Ochea Ming Kwame. He's a Kenyan music artist and advocate for the elimination of hepatitis B. Well, it's time now for a short break. Still to come on Africa 54. Our U.S. high school is making it easier for Muslim girls to participate in sports. We'll be right back. If you've just joined us, I'm Mariama Diallo, and here is a quick recap of today's headlines. France affirmed its commitment.